I'm disappointed that it's been leaked. Obviously, I don't know the full contents, only what I've read in the newspapers. But what I do understand from looking at the programme for the Select Committee, that actually it's not a report on the Health and Social Care Bill and modernisation. It's actually a report on the financing of the NHS, and this is a small part of it. £7 billion has been saved through efficiency savings and other measures since we came to power, and every single penny of that money is being reinvested in the NHS and frontline services. That is actually working it out and achieving and moving towards achieving the £20 billion efficiency savings that ironically were set by Andy Burnham and Alan Johnson under the last government. I don't think they probably fully appreciate that we have saved £7 billion already. I dispute the accuracy of their forecasts. So do you think they, they've simply got it wrong, the Select Committee? Well, we'll have to look at the full details of what they say when the report is published. But on the evidence from the leaked document, I can tell them that what has happened so far since we came into power is that £7 billion has been saved through greater efficiency and other measures and that shows that we are moving forward to reach the um, objective of £20 billion worth of savings over the four-year period that we've given the NHS. We will study it very carefully. Where we agree with anything that they are suggesting and recommending, we will say so. Where we don't agree or we feel that they haven't quite got it right, we will, put that, we will point that out when we make our formal response to the report. But we have got to see the full report before we can start um, coming to any conclusions.